and good morning everyone it is wednesday morning june 21st 2017 busy morning a lot of short rides i come out about 4 40 this morning logged on to lift waited about four minutes that i went to maestro and had to turn make sure both of them were on and i've done $39 since 4.45 so not bad 4 hours worth of work about $39 I've done 9 Uber trips and 1 Lyft so far today and I have not been to the airport yet 99.5% of the time my first 1 or 2 calls goes from St. Pete to Tampa I haven't been there yet in St. Pete. Now look at that. Uber's been very busy in St. Pete today. So we'll be back. Let's go get this one. All right, everyone. Good afternoon. So today started off great. Come out at 437, 438. I had the uh, lift app. I waited five minutes. And I went to White Stone and just hit the on button. And then, of course, it turned on. Uh, Uber immediately. About two or three minutes later, I got an Uber call. Of course, my show turns off the other app for you, so you don't worry about that. Did great this morning. I did 12 Ubers and one Lyft. I'm sitting at $69. My last Uber went from St. Pete to TIA. Went over there, got put in the queue like 115. I'm like, nah, I ain't staying here. I had a couple phone calls to make stop. Parked over there, got down about 90 and 30 minutes. Wasn't moving fast enough. I didn't get pegged for a uh, lift. So I headed north because I needed to make a pit stop. Kept that on. Didn't get hit. Drove all the way from TIA to, was it Fletcher? And 275 at the Toyota dealer over there. Turned it off, went in. Trying to get another car to do Uber and Lyft in because the pallet is killing me in gas. The Honda Palette is a 2015, but it's just a big SUV. So I'm looking at a Toyota Camry. I'm going to trade in my pickup truck for it. They wanted too much money, so we've done some, you know, negotiation. and got it down to a reasonable price, about what I pay now for my pickup. So Saturday, I'm going to take the pickup over there, and uh, they're going to look at it. I told them, you know, there's a couple of dinks in it here and there, but nothing major. So they're going to uh, take that for a trade-in, plus some money down, and keep my payment turn under $400, because they're under $400 now for my pickup. And I turned that back on, sat there for about 10 minutes. I was offline about 2 hours and 45 minutes. I was sat there about 10 or 15 minutes. Figured, you know, the college is down the street. I didn't get nothing. Man, back to St. Pete. I checked the queue at the airport. 140. That's like at 110. I'm like, <laughs> no way. So I just came back across the bridge over here in Pinellas. I'm going to get off here to Gandy and shoot over and sit somewhere. And hopefully I'll get a ping. So I was offline about two hours a day. Not too bad. I mean, I had to be Uber and Lyft full time. You know, you kind of got to do your errands and when you can. You know, sometimes I have to go to the bank. I lived that on for that, and I was to go inside and talk to them. Some stuff like that. So today started off good. A lot of short runs. I mean, short runs. I did 11 short runs, and the lift was even a short run. So I did 12 short runs. I did get over to TIA, but I'm not going to hang out over there if nothing's going on. It is Wednesday. Usually Tuesday and Wednesdays are slow. And there's another phone call. I'll be back. All right, y'all, so that was the dealership. He had to call and tell me a few things. Everything's still a go for Saturday morning. So what's going on Saturday, Carl? You always work Saturday morning. Well, I may get up, go out from like 4 to 8, 4.30 to 8.30, go back home. My wife has a hair appointment. I'll have my six-year-old and my nine-year-old, my nine-year-old nephew, my six-year-old son with me, so make sure they take their tablets, and we're gonna go hang out at the dealership for about two hours. It probably take two hours. My wife be done with her stuff. Then I'll be back out here driving Saturday. Should be back on our street by two, no later to three. 
hitting the roads, stay out to about 10 o'clock. I make up Sunday morning for a few hours, come out, because we've got company coming. Just trying to make that money, guys. You know, normally I take Sundays off, but sometimes, you know, wife and kids sleep at 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Why not get up at 4, come out at 4.30, and make another 50, 60, 70 bucks, maybe more. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go buy a Toyota Camry. I think uh, it's time to get a smaller car. Yes, I will lose the XL on the, the Uber, and I think it's the Plus lift but I've gone back and done the math 97.4% of my Ubers are X not XL and I've only been doing lift for two full weeks I did that math and 98.6% are just regular Uber so I wouldn't be losing that much and then, you know yes getting an XL going from St. Pete Airport is the what? $24? $25? $25, compared to $8.19 but I mean it is what it is. I'll be saving the gas so this guy's not going to let me over. I guess he is. So that's what I'm doing today. So I am back to St. Pete. I just got a fair candy. I'm going to go find me a place to sit for about 15-20 minutes and if I don't get nothing I'm going to move down 34th Street for St. Pete. I should be able to get something. Like I said, it is Wednesday. Tuesdays and Wednesdays normally are slow. Monday was dead for me. Yesterday I did great. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes. I'll be logging off again about eh, 3.30 and 4. Go get the kid from the summer camp. We got an out of town guest coming in tonight. Well, actually they've been in Orlando for three days. They're coming over this side. I'm going to hang out grill some burgers and stuff tonight hang out with them and then be back at it tomorrow so I'll let you know how's it, how's it going let me know what you guys are driving tell me what you're driving for Uber can you make that Toyota Camry let me know how how it, uh, how it does for you this one's a big trunk I told me I need something with a big trunk because you know, sometimes you get these Uber X's or lifts and then pick them up at the airport and there's four people but there's like six suitcases you're like holy crap so I had one today I picked I picked them up at the airport I only took them around the corner at Enterprise very short run two ladies they had four suitcases and two backpacks I was like what the heck I think they had a dead body in two of those suitcases because I'm not supposed to be lifting anything over 10 pounds of my hernia and uh I said she could assist me. She kind of looked at me like I was stupid. So, older women. So, I didn't say nothing. You know, they, I mean, older. I mean, 70s and 80s. I mean, they were older women. So, I respect them. She was having a hard time wheeling them on the wheel. So, I got them in the car. And, uh, I thought, Jesus, man, two people, this many bags? I'm like, are you guys on vacation? They're like, yeah. We're down for three weeks. I wanted to say who they killed to get here because those were some heavy bags. You guys tell me what you guys drive to do Uber and Lyft in? If you're doing Lyft, uh, I think some of y'all are doing Lyft. Just leave it in the comments below. Or email me or instant message me if we're friends on Facebook. Let me know. Let me know how it's working out. Because last week I paid $155 just in Uber and Lyft in, in this pallet. Not counting the $25 I normally put in just out of our account. You know, for running around on the weekend and stuff. So let me know. And I need to get some calls. I need to make some money. So I'm going to ready to find me a little parking shade. There's a sh shade tree right there. So I will be back shortly. Alrighty, everyone. It is 440. Just logged off. I got, I'm got. i up in the Seminole, Largo area. I have to get down to Gulf Fort by 530. Should not be a problem to pick up my child from summer camp. Man, pretty good day. Money wise, it was okay. It could have been better. Trip wise, it was great. I did 18 trips total today. I did 16 Ubers and two lifts for 100 and 102. It's like 10190 something. So round it up. $102. 18 trips. I did hit it all there, like I said earlier, around 10. And then at 11 to 1, I was offline. And then I made it back over to Pinellas and sat half hour. Decided it was time to move about two miles down the road. 
and then I started getting ping. So I've been studying since then. So not too bad of a day. So on next week, well Saturday I'll be going to trade my truck in for a Toyota Camry, better gas mileage than the Honda Pilot. So sometime next week I'll end up being in a Toyota. Of course, you know you gotta send in your registration, picture of your registration, and all that crap. And then um, probably have to get it re reinspected. That don't make sense. A brand new car. I have to check with Uber. Actually, I won't get inspected because I know one of them's gonna want it. So I'm gonna do that one day next week when it's dead. Of course, you know as soon as I log off, I'll probably get busy. But probably about it. Next Thursday I should be in the Camry. I'm going to keep the pallet on the, both platforms because you never know. I may decide to come out Friday or Saturday night when everybody's out partying and do some XLs or Plus or whatever. But like I said, I went back. And just about 98, 97% of my rides are the regular lift or the Uber X. So not much of a difference. So I'm thinking, you know, get the Toyota Camry and do that and maybe one day a week just take the pallet out and see if I can get any XLs or plus. That's my game plan at least. So I hope y'all did great today. Hope you stayed busy. Hope you made some money. Yeah, $102 ain't too bad. I mean, for the trips, I should have done better. I, mean, I remember one day I did nine trips I made like 130 but it depends on how long they are or if they're XLs or plus for lift you know it is what it is so i'll be back out here tomorrow morning with y'all i hope you have a safe evening hope you had a very good day if you were slow well hope tomorrow's better i mean i was really busy this morning then i hit the law between 10 and 11 then i logged off for two hours and logged back on so i may have missed a couple runs here and there in those two hours I mean who knows I sat for an hour and didn't do nothing so keep grinding keep making that money drive safe and I will see you all tomorrow morning again leave your comments below tell me what you drive and how you like it especially if you got a Toyota Camry let me know how that is or I just want to know where Bells drives I know what some of y'all drive because I've met y'all in person but the rest of you leave comments below tell me what you're driving because I'll tell you, I'm driving a Honda Pilot, and right now the gas gauge is just above half tank. By the time I get to the gas station and put gas in it, it'll probably take about $20 to $22. Everybody I've talked to um, personally told me that will fill until the camera, but you probably won't even burn a half tank a day unless you get some long, long trips. So enjoy your evening. I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and tell other others about this channel. Good night.